Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I'll be demonstrating the Caramator on a Canon EOS 60D. Previously I demonstrated on a Sony RX100. It, it did not work. Uh, I did not know at the time it was because of... It did, they just didn't support RX100. They never said it did. The creator of Caramator just said he thinks so. Yet he sees no reason why it won't work. But it did not work on a Sony RX100. So I went out and got a 60D EOS 60D and I'm going to test it out on this device and this is basically what it looks like mounted on it and this the shoe it rests on a shoe very loosely so I've asked Usman the creator if they can put like a screw on here to hold it down properly he said it, it, he said it, it will still be snug but obviously it's not and the first thing I did was I just pressed the power button and powered up the, the, the uh, device. And the device is all now all powered up. Wireless is activated. So I'm going to connect my iPad to this ad hoc network. On the iPad, I'm just navigate to my settings page. And on the Wi Fi, I'm going to choose camera meter. It's going to be thinking a bit, thinking, thinking. Then on the upper left hand side, the Wi Fi connected. It's still spinning, but that's uh, people in uh, Usman was saying that it's fine. So let's go ahead and try the Camera Mater app. And now for remote camera. All right. At least this time now, the Canon EOS 60D came up. Okay, so let me try taking some pictures. Hmm. Let me just uh well I'll just press this button right here. Hmm, something just blinked. This capture cannot retrieve image. Let me try that again. I do not know why. It's connected to it. Uh, let me try turning on this live view and let me try it again. This time I hear the lens focusing, but then it still says, Can I retrieve image? Hmm. Something peculiar is going on. Here, let me unplug it. And plug it back in. And power it off and power it back on. Let me turn on live view. Now back at the iPad app. I'm going to go to a remote camera. All right. I'll try snapping picture again. Here I try and take a picture. I think I snapped something. Okay, so that one worked. I guess if you just run into problems, turn off the app, or not, not, not app, turn off the, the camera and just turn back on. Let me turn off live view. I wonder if that had anything to do with it. Let me try this again. cannot retrieve image. Did it work? I pressed that a second time when I saw cannot retrieve image. Alright, so live view does not have to be on, but I'm not sure why. So far, I pressed the button four times, and two times it said cannot retrieve image. 
Hmm. It tells me over here, it tells me the ISO, the res resolution, the aperture, the shutter speed, image file name, it's in JPEG. I thought I took a picture again, but it's not. Well, let's try this one more time. Cannot retrieve image. This is kind of annoying. Let me see what these some of these buttons are here. Save the image to album. Okay, so this one is more like time lapse. Let me close that. Uh, this one is self timer. Close that. I can choose ISO aperture. Hmm. Maybe the camera needs to be in manual mode for me to choose all those. So let me first change that on my camera here. Let me change it to... Let's see... M. Let me head it back home. Remote camera. Let me try connecting to it again. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna try snapping another picture. I think it snapped. Sorry if this this seems like a terrible, uh, a long video, but it's my first test on this first actual successful test. Now these JPEG files, they're not that big. I'm guessing they're probably like three, four megs. So that's the Sony RX100. Let me try chain, let me try taking pictures at uh, raw images. Let's changed it to, let's see, quality, I'm going to set it to raw. Okay, so now it's raw in JPEG. Alright. Actually, you know what, let me just choose raw only. Because I'm not, sure, I'm not sure which one will be uh, transferred over or if it will just transfer both. So, okay, so now it's raw only. So I'll hold a camera up, point towards myself. Now I'll snap a picture. Cannot retrieve image. Man, jeez. Three out of three. It all failed. Hmm. Every now and then I see a red blinking light up there. I'm gonna turn the camera off and turn back on again. All right, found it. Let's go. Now I'll slap a. F okay, so. ISO's auto. Okay. Now after turning the camera off, turn back on. Now I can change all these, these settings. Probably because the, now the camera is set to manual mode. I can choose my shutter speed, auto, all right, let's see how this goes. Not sure if you heard a snap. Cannot retrieve image. Man, this is irritating. I'm not sure if it's because of the raw files, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch it back to JPEG. All right, it's back to JPEG now. So hopefully I get better luck this time. Work, 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 work. Okay, it works with JPEG, but it does not work with RAW.
Let me try that again. Just snapped a second photo. Let's see how long it takes where it comes up. All right. Okay, so, well, I don't have a new way to explain why one works and one does not. The, uh, the quality of the image looks pretty good. Well, since it's working, I'm trying to session preview. Let's see how, how this works. There's no buttons. Preview mode. Well, since they don't have a manual, I'm co I can only guess that a session preview just means uh, I'm shooting the images right off the camera. So I'm just, just going to shoot, take some shots here. I was right. So the session preview, I can be one taking all the pictures and then the other other folks can just watch it on the iPad. It would be nice if one of the uh, this little key over here also told me this the uh, size of the image file, but that's no big deal. I get a feeling that if the camera can't focus, then it can't snap a shot. Hmm. Let me put that to the test. I just, the, the lens I'm using has terrible macro, so let me just put this to a test like this. I'm gonna try snapping a shot. The paper is very close to the uh, the front of the lens. Cannot retrieve image. But now let me try doing this. Except. The difference is uh, I'm going to hold the image about three feet away. I think it's going to work this time. And it does. It does. Wow. Interesting. Okay, so this just uh, some quirks to the camera meter. Let's take a look at no, look at some other other menus here. Network settings. So if that's the host name, let's see system operation, stop server safely, reset network settings, reboot, join known networks on top. Let me try that. Uh, choose a network. I'm gonna choose my home network. I'm gonna put in my password. And I'm just gonna hit done. It's saved, password success, device will restart. You need this device's WAN. You need to set this device's WAN to something else. Okay. So I'm guessing once I press OK, camera meter will reset. Let's see if it does. Okay, let's, let's wait a little bit. Okay, it found my net, my wireless network. Good. Now let me make sure that my home device is also on the same network. It is. Let me head back to camera mater. Most settings. Hmm. Why isn't it coming up? Oh. 
It's saying access point not found. That's weird. It appears that if we can't find the access point, the camera meter just reboots automatically. And everything goes back to the default network setting. Yep. This came back up again. Hmm. I'll need to contact Usman about this. There you have it. This is a little demo of the camera meter and some of the pros and cons. I'll say hardware wise, I like how it's small. Um, it's very it can fit in your pocket. It can fit in, in a sleeve easily. Yeah, I like how there's a the tripod mount here. But as for some of the cons, I wish there's more button besides just the power button. Like it's something that actually I can set some of the settings here or some, di some diagnostic feature or something. And as for the hot shoe, it'd be nice if they include like a screw so that I can tight, uh, tightly secure this device to the, the shoe on my Canon EOS 60D because the way it is right now it can just fall off easily it's, it's very loose uh, the way it is right now it's very loose it's not secure now some now for the software wise it looks like if the camera meter if the camera cannot focus the camera meter cannot snap any, any uh, shots now, another thing I notice is that some of these buttons, these settings, these buttons here on the side, um, a lot of times they're sometimes they're blacked out. Sometimes you're able to choose them. Uh, once the manual comes out, once the manual is, is released, I think it'll be easier for us to understand what's possible and what's not. Because currently, like up here, for example, I can't I can't press any of the um, the settings button. Everything is grayed out. Uh, a lot of stuff is, is grayed out. Only the ones that's in white are things that I can press. And another problem I have with this device is the wireless. Ad hoc it works, but when I put in my wireless network information on here, it says it tested successfully, and yet when it tries to connect, it says access point not found. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but hopefully everything will get sorted out. This is a new product. Um, and the creators of this, they've been very responsive, so I just, uh, which I will have to wait and see. Well, thanks for watching Walker Hamster. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to send to me. Bye.